So, I'm very glad that Roland is about to release the DO5 synthesizer. They, sh they still need to make an iOS emulation of the D50 or their other synthesizers. Um, I wonder if the DO5 will be multi-temporal. This actually makes me want to bring up another issue. I do not like Yamaha. So sure, Yamaha is still making nice, affordable keyboards for musicians, but I don't care about those mini keyboards. I care about their synthesizers. Yamaha, ever since the Reface DX and FM Essential, Yamaha does not have a healthy line of consumer-friendly synthesizer products. Their latest synthesizer or the Reface DX, and of course, the Montage. And the Montage is fucking expensive. We, c we want to know how great it sounds. But we'll have to wait for decades for it to be cheap. It's true that the SY99 and 77 cost a few thousand dollars decades ago, but now you can buy them for a few hundred dollars. So, yeah, many Japanese synthesizers companies are going downhill when it comes to synthesizers. Even Roland's going downhill, but at least they care about their fans, and they at least they remember their synthesizers. But, Yamaha, what's wrong with Yamaha? Their last hardware synthesizers were the Reface DF, the Reface series. Their electric piano and combo organ sound pretty cool. The Reface DX, that it sounds good, but it's only got four operators. Why not just get FM Essential? And the Reface CS, that sounds nothing like a a vintage CS synthesizer. Sounds more like a, a crappy virtual analog. Well, you can still make good sounds out of it. Speaking of FM Essential, what's up with Yamaha and FM Essential? FM Essential is the only good synthesizer app by Yamaha. They don't even have a healthy line of iOS synthesizers. With FM Essential, okay, they admit that you can go to an MX keyboard at your local music store and connect it, but why won't it have an in-app purchase? It sounds great, and Helis has audio unit support, but all of the audio units, for some reason, ha have to share the same preset. So, let's look over the history of Yamaha. So Yamaha is over 100 years old. And Yamaha started making synthesizers with according to Wikipedia their first synthesizer was actually the Magna organ from the 1950s. It wasn't until like the 70s that they started making monophonic CS synthesizers, which sound very decent. They also had their rare GSX synthesizer. That needs an emulation. They did... They also did a line of CS polyphonic synthesizers like the CS80, but those are still rare and expensive. They don't have any respect for these kinds of CS synthesizers. They don't even have respect for the obscure SK synthesizers, which were really cool combo synthesizers. Ever since the GS1, their first FM instrument. During most of the 80s, they began bragging about their FM synthesizers. Oh, we love FM. All of our synthesizers about FM. 
sure the DX7 was successful, but they, unlike Roland, which added the, which made add-ons for their JXAP and D50, Yamaha never bothered to make an add-on. Well, sure, they created an MSX computer that had specialized cartridges for FM synthesis. That was it. The 80s was mainly about FM synthesizers with cr unusable interfaces. Well, during the 90s, their lineup of synthesizers became healthier. They mixed FM with PCM samples. They looked into FM PCM synthesis, um, analog modeling, and acoustic instrument modeling, the VL1. They were, at one point, they were interested in vector synthesis and the whole plug-in thing for their CSX synthesizers. But they really began going downhill since early 2000s. And they, they didn't even make a lot of software synthesizers. The only cool things Yamaha did in the 2000s were the Vocaloid and the Tenorion. That's it. But they don't have any respect for many of their hardware synthesizers. Yamaha. I've talked about this a couple of times. I'm even addressing this to Yamaha of Japan. You do not have a healthy line of consumer-friendly synthesizer products and apps. Synthesizer lineup wa Genki Ja Arima Sen. Seriously. You need to fix your lineup. You need to look for the synthesizer fans. Oh, by the way, this app is PPG Infinite in the background. It's great. Anyway. Yamaha needs to address these issues. You know who they should look up to? Yamaha should look up to Korg. Korg is my favorite synthesizer company. Even if they don't always make the best synthesizers, they've always done something creative. Especially during the A's. I'll make another video about Korg. 